All right, welcome to my YouTube channel, The Actual King Smith. In this video, I'm gonna show how to stake or bury your Shiba tokens on ShibaSwap. Let's get started. Now, I'm not gonna go into how to connect your wallets. There's a lot of other videos that deep dive more into it better than uh, I know how to, but once you know how to do that part, you can use this easy to use uh, or easy to follow video uh, after you've already connected your wallet to ShibaSwap. All right, I'm using the wallet MetaMask. Now, up at the top right, you wanna come in here and click bury, which is essentially staking, right? That's kind of how you earn tokens for using your tokens on the blockchain, essentially. Think of it like earning interest. When I click uh, bury, I've only got sheep, so I'm gonna click bury sheep. Now you can see the amount that I have here, but I'm just gonna bury all of it. Whatever, that's what. Uh, 6 million 500 uh, sheep. It's not a lot, but it's not all that I have. This is uh, the little amount that I have on my wallet. I primarily keep most of my sheep on either KuCoin and Crypto.com, but I wanted to test out she was swap to see if I should use um, crypto.com staking, which is only 2% um, over a three month period, or um, if I wanted to move it over here, which it costs about 15 million shield. Uh, as of today, it was like 40, 50 bucks to move Shiba tokens over from crypto.com to my Meta mask. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna stake 100% of what I do have and see what happens. All right, when I click approve, there's a transaction fee associated with this, which is 97 cents of worth of Ethereum. I'm gonna click confirm, which is why you have to make sure that you have Ethereum in your wallet. And when you look up at the top here, it says that I have one pending. I think I'm doing this uh, at a good time where it's not, it shouldn't take that long. Let's see, while this is pending, is there anything that I wanna to add to this? No, no I don't. Let's just see how long this takes. I don't have any, I think I have leash that I can bury as well. It's not a lot, I wanna say I have like $5 worth of leash. I guess, to, okay, yep, it just got confirmed. Or at least I see the notification that popped up on my screen. So this should be changing away from pending here sometime soon. All right, it's approved. And my Shiba should be staked. Do I have to come in here and approve something? Nope, it already says approved. Okay, boom. How do I go back? What am I missing here? Is that it? Does it not show me how much I've got buried? See, I don't know how to look that up. If you look at my recent transaction, let's see. Yeah, there's nothing else for me to do. Everything's been approved. You can see the transaction fee as well was only 98 cent. See, this is why I'm doing this. Like I said, I'm not, I don't know how to use the wallet as much as I just know how to use uh, the native um, exchanges. Because here it doesn't show that I have anything buried. So let's try that again. All of it. Click stake. Now it's telling me the gas fee is $1.69. Whatever. Or one fifty nine. Let's try that again. Entering dog yard. This is why we're doing this video so y'all can see the frustration. Or not the frustration. Just kind of see what it takes to do this. Like I said, I'm just using just a small amount. Because I'm not too familiar with the swaps as a lot of other people are. I know you can use the swaps to buy you know, other cryptocurrencies that aren't on any of the major exchanges like KuCoin, BitMart, 
Kraken, Binance, Binance US. There's so many different platforms that you can use. It's insane. And use the exchange or swap that works for you. I know you can find some of those small cap new coins that can come out. And if you get lucky, you can hit a good lick on some of those. If you're fortunate enough to know what exchange is going to uh, carry it. All right. So I just got a notification that everything's confirmed. All right. And enter dog yard. So did I have to do that twice? Yeah. Okay. I was reading into the uh, forms and the Reddit forms that you had to do that twice. Because now if you look, total buried, this was all of the uh, SHIB that I had that I wanted to stake. But I had to do that twice. So that was what a total of, what, 159 plus 97 cents. So almost $3 of ethereum to be able to fully stake this i don't know if that's a design flaw but y'all saw it live that's what it take and now when i go back i can see my total buried six million share which was about 50 bucks it was half of the 100 that i bought just to send over to my wallet uh from crypto.com to my metamask wallet so that i could show you guys this video <sighs> yeah that's what it takes to be able to do that i'm gonna uh do regular videos where if i add more to this i'll show that process um there's other videos that kind of talk about well what is a wallet and how to connect it to your uh you know browser i don't have any of those videos yet um i would suggest googling or going to youtube to see somebody else that's already done that but once it's connected, I can show you how to, you know, get in here and bury. Uh, and I have another video where I showed how to dig. Anyway, that is my video for today. Thanks for tuning in.